So I've done two years in the military police and eight years as a police officer here in Stockholm. And after that, I worked uh, 11 years in the security industry with a couple of management positions. So mainly physical security, cameras, guards, guns and gates and uh, all that stuff. I did a lot of traveling and I've always read a lot. So my, my mom is a librarian um, and I love reading a lot of and love books. And basically during all these travel I, I was reading a lot and at some stage a few years ago my wife said what well, are you going to try and write something of your own. And I really hadn't thought about it until she said it and when she said it it sort of makes sense. It made sense. So I just figured well I'll give it a try and realized that I loved it and just kept on doing it. So I, I come up with the story first so I want to write an exciting thriller for, for the readers that's an entertaining and that, that uh, includes a lot of twists and turns and excitement. And then I try to build in the, the things that are, seem very con contemporary, um, like in this case the social media and, and how we interact. But first of all, it's a, it, my, my main goal is to, to write something that's entertaining and exciting. And, and my second goal, if I can combine the two and into saying something about contemporary sort of uh, the community right now or about uh, society, then, then I certainly try and do that as well. So um, in my world, you should be able to combine the two. And then there's a third layer for, for the real, you know, pop culture geeks like myself where I've built in various little nods and, and winks to, um, to a TV series, to books and to, to movies that are in there as well. In, in the books there are a lot of references to, to pop culture, especially uh, 90s and early 2000s pop culture. So there's, uh, there's a lot of influences of, uh, of various movies and uh, TV series and, and books as well. Um, especially in the and thriller genre. And a lot of the conspiracy movies are in there as well because uh, conspiracies are really interesting and as a thriller writer that's, that's sort of the, um, the vein you want to tap into as well. So conspiracies are really interesting, uh, but to me it's more the mechanism of it and what, why people take on to them rather than the actual details of this or that conspiracy. Do you believe in any conspiracies? <laughs> if I do, I, I keep them to myself. Okay. <laughs>